In this problem, I need to graph this rational function here, but I need to make sure that I list any asymptotes, holes, x, and y intercepts. And all this information here, once I've got that, it will definitely help me graph the function. So before I do anything else, I need to make sure my rational function is factored and reduced as much as possible. Numerator can't be factored any further, but the denominator x squared minus 4 is the difference of two squares. So that's the first thing we're going to do is factor the denominator. So my denominator now is the difference of two squares. And as the square root of x squared is x, the square root of 4 is 2. My two factors are going to be x plus 2, x minus 2. Now, does anything reduce? Well, I have a factor of x plus 2 in the numerator and the denominator. So those are going to reduce. And so my function f of x in reduced form can be written as 1 over x minus 2. But we need to add in a restriction on this function because the original function would have uh, domain issues when x minus 2 equals 0 and when x plus 2 equals 0. So we know from the original function that x plus 2 can't equal 0, so x cannot equal negative 2. So we have to add that restriction to the simplified form of the function. We don't have to add in over here x can't equal 2 because we can still see that restriction here. Now before we go on and look at anything else, what does this reducing of the x plus 2 totally mean? It means when x plus 2 equals 0 or x equals negative 2, we are going to have a hole in the graph. So there's going to be a hole at x equals negative 2. And what is the y value of the hole? To find it, we plug negative 2 into the reduced form of the function. So I'm going to get 1 over x is going to be negative 2 minus 2. So it's going to be 1 over negative 4. So my whole is going to have the coordinates negative 2, negative 1 fourth. So now I've found the whole. Now we need to find asymptotes, x and y intercepts. And to do that, use the simplified version of the function, not the original. So let's look at asymptotes. So does this function have any vertical asymptotes? Remember how to find vertical asymptotes? You set the denominator equal to zero. Now remember it's going to be on the simplified version. I'm not going to set this denominator equal to zero because we already know at x equals negative 2 there's a hole. So this is the denominator I'm going to set equal to zero. So I have x minus 2 equal to zero. So my vertical asymptote is x equals 2. So now let's look at horizontal asymptotes. And do you remember how to find horizontal asymptotes? It's all to do with the degree of the numerator and the denominator. So I'm kind of running out of room there. What is the degree of my numerator? The degree is 0. What's the degree of the denominator? The degree is 1. So this is a case when I have the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. And I'm running out of room, so I'm just going to put denom there. And for that case, the horizontal asymptote is always y equals 0. 
And if a graph has a horizontal asymptote, it cannot have a slant asymptote. So now all I have left to do is find the x and y intercepts. And I'm kind of running out of room here. So let's see if I can squeeze the x-intercept into here. The way we do it is we set the function equal to 0 because y equals 0. So remember, x-intercept, you set y equal to 0. That means set the function equal to 0. Well, a fraction equals 0 when the numerator equals 0. So can 1 equal 0? No. Therefore, that means there are no x-intercepts. And that's important information when we are drawing the graph. And the last thing is the y-intercept. The y-intercept, you're going to set x equal to 0. And remember, it's in this version. So f of 0 is 1 over 0 minus 2. So it's negative a half. So my y-intercept is 0, negative a half. And now all I have to do is plot all that information on the graph and see what it gives me. So I'm just going to start out and plot this whole. So x is negative 2, y is negative 1 fourth. So that means I start at the origin and I'm going to go 2 to the left, and then I'm going to go down a little bit, negative a quarter. That's about the best I can do to graph my hole. So now I want to graph my vertical asymptote x equals 2. Well, we graph asymptotes with dotted lines, so it's going to be a dotted line going down there. So let me see if I can get my pen working. And... Here's my vertical asymptote, x equals 2. So now, what's the next thing we found? The next thing we found was the horizontal asymptote, y equals 0. So that's the x-axis. So I'm going to draw that line next. There's my horizontal asymptote, y equals 0. Now, the next information I have is there are no x-intercepts. That's going to be very useful, but I can't plot anything yet. And my y-intercept is 0, negative a half. So that means it's on the y-axis. I start at the origin, and I'm going to go down, negative a half. So now, can you get some idea of what the graph is going to look like? It has to approach the horizontal asymptote when I go in this direction and this direction. And it can either approach from below or above. Notice I already have two points below the x-axis. And since the graph never crosses the x-axis, that's why I said that's important information, we can see that the graph has to start below the x-axis go through those two points, and come on down. So this is where it's not going to look very pretty, but I'll do the best I can. So my function doesn't cross the um, horizontal asymptote. It approaches the hole, and then on the other side, it goes down, and it approaches the vertical asymptote going down. Whoops, that's meant to be an arrow on the end there. We know that the graph can't come down and go back up because it would have to cross the x-axis, and we know there are no x-intercepts. So I figured out what the graph looks like to the left of the vertical asymptote. What does it look like over here? Well, I have no points, but I do know that... It doesn't cross the x-axis, so it can either start up here, come on down and approach there, or it starts down, come on up and approaches up. We have to figure out, does it look like this or does it look like this? And to do that, all we have to do is find one point in this region here. 
because we know it can't cross the x-intercept. So I've totally run out of room, but let me see if I can squeeze that down in the bottom here. I'm going to pick the x value of 3. So when x equals 3, what is f of 3? Remember, I'm putting it in here. It's 1 over 3 minus 2, which is 1 over 1, which is 1. So my point is 3, 1. So if I wanted to graph that point, 3, 1 is right here. So we can now graph in the rest of our graph. It's going to approach the vertical asymptote going up there, comes on down through this point, and it's going to approach the horizontal asymptote from above. 